Hello friends, welcome to GCA. Hope you all are doing good. So today the video is regarding integrated battle groups and before this I have already uploaded video regarding integrated theater command and even a detailed video regarding the structure of Indian army is already uploaded. So if you want to watch these videos, the link is available in the i button. So this concept of integrated battle groups is in news from last 2 to 3 years and as the restructuring of the Indian army is taking place with the main motive to enhance combat effectiveness to reduce the budgetary expenditure and finally to modernize our army so integrated battle group is a part of the restructuring of the army and this is going to be the new formation of the indian army so like always the video will be in crisp form so again without wasting any time let us start now before discussing the concept of integrated battle groups let us first discuss the present structure of the indian army in short so presently we all are aware that there are total of 7 commands in Indian Army which are divided into various cores and these cores are divided into 3 to 4 divisions and these divisions are further divided into 3 to 5 brigades and these brigades are further divided into 3 to 5 units or regiments. Now there are two type of cores. First is the strike core which launches offensive into the enemy territory and second is the holding core which is responsible for the defensive operations. Now let us discuss what are integrated battle groups. So the integrated battle groups are brigade sized, agile, self-sufficient combat formations which can swiftly launch strikes against enemy in case of hostilities. So each integrated battle group will have the size of 5000 troops and they will be bigger than brigade but will be smaller than divisions. So these integrated battle groups will be headed by major general and these groups will have a mix of every arm and service like armored core, mechanized infantry, infantry, engineers, EME, core of signals etc. So the elements comprising these troops they will be fighting together and they will be located in such a manner that they can be effective in a shorter time frame with much greater effectiveness basically to fight a short and intense war and to capture shallow objectives without crossing the nuclear threshold of China as well as Pakistan. These integrated battle groups needs to be light so that they should be low in logistics and they will be able to mobilize within 12 to 48 hours based on their location. Now the Indian Army has decided to reconstitute its standing forces into 12 modernized integrated battle groups. And the concept of integrated battle group has suffered some delay because of COVID-19 and the recent military confrontation with China last year in Galwan Valley. And recently, our army chief has mentioned that the creation of integrated battle group is a logical step towards our operational thought process on how to conduct future operations. Now let us discuss why there is need for having integrated battle groups. So we all are aware that the nature of warfare is changing and the creation of these battle groups are all geared towards for launching greater offensive punch and also for countering the two front war posed by China and Pakistan. And we all are aware that China and Pakistan, they both are nuclear states and Pakistan have openly stated that it will use nuclear weapons against war with India. At the moment it felt that it is going to suffer major losses. So therefore it is important for India to not to breach Pakistan's nuclear threshold during war. So because of which the concept of these battle group is formulated. Now this agile battle groups will only go for shallow objectives with speed and synergy and it will not give a reason to Pakistan to press their nuclear button. And further it was observed during the operation Parakram when India planned to launch an offensive into Pakistan after the attack on Indian parliament. So it took more than two weeks of time to just mobilize and reorganize our troops into battle groups for launching across the border. So therefore in order to improve synergy, cohesiveness, save time of mobilization and enhance combat effectiveness, army will now restructure to have 11 to 13 terrain and role specific integrated battle groups and these will have both offensive as well as defensive roles. So let us now discuss the advantages of integrated battle groups. So the very first is the effectiveness. So these integrated battle groups they will be located close to their designated area of operation for sharper responses and depending upon their location their mobilization will not take more than 12 to 24 hours. And similarly the components of these battle group will become more familiar with the terrain and the geographical advantages as well as challenges. Therefore it will be possible to optimize resource allocation based on task, terrain and threat especially in the case of two front war. Now the process of these battle groups is already underway 
and the recalibration includes the change in the operational role of the one core towards the northern sector with china including the ladakh from earlier focus on pakistan then the 17 core in turn will have strike role in the eastern sector including the chumbi valley opposite sikkim but one core will also retain operational flexibility to deploy against pakistan at short notice so with an adequate number of accumulatized troops the core will be available for both china and pakistan and this will be in addition to the lay based 14 core and overall army has total 14 core with the strength of between 40 to 70000 troops in each with four of them being strike or offensive formations and apart from one core and 17 core the two pakistan specific ones are two core and 21 core and recently three integrated battle groups were picked out from the newly raised panagad based mountain strike core and they participated in training exercises in september 2019 and also these battle groups were supported by armored core artillery aviation core infantry and logistic elements further the yol based 9 core also undertook the test bed exercise and it is believed to be the first formation that will be reorganized into integrated battle groups for deployment along the western border so friends this is all about the concept of integrated battle groups and i hope you find it useful so till then keep learning keep supporting and keep watching best of luck for your upcoming ssb thank you and jai hind